Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. It's been a while with your girl V. This is my second DIY. I hope you guys like it. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel so we're actually doing our garden. As you guys can see, the garden was a bit dead. Okay, it was dead. It was just a garden for the bins, I suppose. It didn't really look like it was cozy or it was just dead. So we went ahead and livened it up and made it look like a family garden somewhere you want to go to cozy up. So as you can see, we went ahead and bought some green foam from B&Q and it's actually artificial grass foam that you put underneath your artificial grass onto your concrete floors which makes it, gives it a little bit extra padding and um, comfort on your feet I suppose. Um, also it helps with insulation because when you're out there in the summer oh, your feet feel so nice you know because it literally gets all the heat from the grass itself but yeah guys we bought that and we rolled it out and we put it out and made it line it up next to each other and then we also put another section or we put we were able to fit three in this section and guys we did this in one day and um, i would say one day because we on the next day we had to go back and get something else but it was because we forgot to get an extra astroturf roll so we actually just needed an extra no we needed to get extra foam roll and some glue but other than that this project will only take you one day as long as you don't have other things that are going to bother you and i would say do it with another person if you want to get it done quick and easy and um, also we had no experience of doing anything like this but we went on to youtube and we had a look at different videos of how people did their garden um astroturf and we basically <laughs> came together with this we literally blagged it guys we blagged it and honestly the end result i'm happy with it i mean it's still got loads of work but guys rome wasn't built in a day and let me tell you i love my garden right now you know it does look a bit smaller because we've put things in we want but it's not the kind of it's basically a little yard it's not a big garden where you're going to be doing the most you're going to be doing the little in this garden okay the little the little in this garden okay you just enjoy the little things like having a little swing there having a little bar having a little decking area to sit and chill and that's all we wanted in our garden and honestly we finally get it which is going to be in other videos so guys stay tuned so to once we put the green stuff down we actually got the glue put the glue underneath and to keep it still we did that on all the mats make sure they don't move as you can see Kyle doing that so yeah that was put down and it really does work guys the mats don't move they are really glued down we've got little holes in them so in case anything water will go down and it actually our water does drain down to the side of our garden by the door and also there's another drain around the corner by the swing on the end where the bin is there's a drain there so with the way our garden is it's not flat straight it's kind of tilty so water always leads to the drain or outside the door and then as you can see we went around the corner we did the same thing with the measurements and the other bit that we left and um, we had to wait the next day to go and get a roll which we managed to get and we finished the whole garden we used the bins and the pallet um that you can see there um basically use it to weigh down the um the green foam just to make sure it, it didn't move for the while it was drying and that pallet later actually is what we use for our decking so guys it was a simple job we didn't need anything fancy you know i mean some people use sand on top of the astroturf but we didn't do all of that we just thought let's not get all complicated this is a small diy we don't really you don't really need sand um but yeah we absolutely love the project and looks really good after it's done so stay tuned and see what the end results are guys so as you guys can see i'm now cutting around the drain and putting the foam down making sure the drain is actually not covered i would suggest if any of you guys do have drains in your garden do not cover them because if you ever have a blockage the plumber will basically tell you you need to get that grass up so they can access that drain to drain out your what's going to unblock your 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 pipes or anything so i made sure i left that bit accessible because i don't really want to having done all this hard work as you can see i'm cutting it in pieces and fitting it having done the hard work to have that ruined um 
so I made sure I left the drain um, accessible to anyone as you can see also on the right hand side I had the same issue because a third roll a fourth roll couldn't fit they had to literally cut some rolls that were cut around the, the drain that were left over and stick around that bit to make sure it fitted and also that bit was covered um, and in the meantime Kyle actually did um, roll out the astroturf that we had and he started to place it down um, place it down and get ready to glue it it was actually a really warm day which was perfect because on a warm day the glue dries a lot quicker which is what you want because I would also guys if you are doing this make sure you don't do it on a rainy day because that could affect the glue if the glue is not dry and it rains it might not, the glue might dry without sticking to the ground which means then it's always going to lift which is not good for you guys um, but yeah so Kyle's sticking that bit while I start I started sticking down the astroturf and lining it down properly to make sure it was down properly we actually made a really good team this is our first project we actually did without getting mad at each other we usually get really stressed out and it gets a bit uh you know I'm fed up um, so the middle of the astroturf guys make sure you buy tape and that tape is basically meant to connect the the rolls together so even if they were to lift or anything they're stuck together so they can't lift individually but they will be stuck together as one big roll you know all the three rolls will be stuck together as one big roll and that's what we did we probably would have needed about six seven rolls but we were like yeah world's cheapest chips gates we're like we're not doing that so we actually used about three rolls and we basically we we cut pieces to fit around areas where well, we didn't put it all along the the carpet so guys how you want to do it if you want to put loads of tape that's absolutely fine but as you guys are going to see after the garden is done we use what we use it worked um it's actually been four or five months now and the garden looks absolutely fine the grass looks absolutely fine everything is fine we haven't had any issues with the grass or anything whatsoever so um i guess it all also depend what country you're in and you know weather and all of that stuff and you know the type of grass you've bought and also how you maintain it but yeah guys this is us sticking down the tape so you've got to make sure you roll the tape and put it between the two rolls of astroturf and then stick it down making sure that the lines of each astroturf is connecting really well so you can't actually see the line that much um together so we stuck um like the green foam we stuck that down and that was three rolls um and the bit on the side that was left that didn't have um asher turf we actually went ahead and actually cut um our pieces to put on the side so guys this was like not many you know this was only like two hours into the job so it really didn't take us very long to do um, as you can see the little excess bits um, excess bits that you do get I actually kept those on the side because I'm later going to use them on the right hand side to stick along that side where it's missing astroturf just like I did with the foam So in case any of you are wondering, I did have a jacket on although it was really hot. Um, basically it was really hot but weirdly enough it was kind of breezy at the same time as well. So I get cold quite easily so it wasn't cold but it was a little bit of a wind that you know just wasn't it, it wasn't doing it for me that I still felt cold so I had something on. But yeah so this is us getting the tape, we line the tape up and then um, we start putting it between the gaps and then sticking it down and just making sure you press down on it that it's really stuck down and also make sure that the astroturf is really on top of the on top of each um on top of the tape and right next to each other because if you don't do it properly guys it just means there's a, a really big gap between for dirt to go between for whatever rubbish can go between and af after a while there will actually be a very very obvious line of where the two um astroturf didn't actually fit together
yeah guys as you can see just with the just like with the foam i actually started cutting off around the i started cutting off around the drain and making sure that was secure but as you can see guys that's the that's all the astroturf down and at the moment you can see the lines the lines do disappear after and um, you can use a hoover and hoover over it and then it will all look even or even a brush or if you really got that much done you can use your hands to give them a good brush over and they will actually the line does disappear guys so the only bits left now is that little corner there so we then started sticking that corner bit there as you can see we do start to use smaller pieces because those are the pieces that were got cut off so that's me cut putting around the drain this bit was it looks easy in the video but it was actually quite hard because the the asher turf is quite thick so having to cut that i had to make sure i cut it properly and i wasn't about to waste any pieces so as you can see i went around cutting pieces also around your drain you can see the difference in color and that's absolutely fine it's because the pieces were put around it were facing different directions so the grass was going different directions but to sort that out it's very easy you just make sure you brush over all the grass to make it look like it's going the same direction and it's no issue whatsoever so at the moment when i'll show you guys later at the end of the video you can't actually see that all of that is settled down the grass just looks normal there's no issues whatsoever with it and just like before you get the tape and you pull it between the pieces so although these little pieces are uh, those are little patchy pieces we actually manage to not have an issue with that because we use the tape to once again make sure that they were stuck down and we weren't going to get any issues so as you can see there it is I would also suggest I would also suggest that if you have got any corners when once you've put the foam it's kind of looking like it's lifting once you've glued it make sure you get something whether it's a stone whatever it is put it on top of it so when it glues it glues down properly because if you don't the, that bit of the carpet will stay lifted and so when you put the astroturf on top of it it will still kind of be lifted which we did have an issue with that in one corner and so all I did was later just lift the astroturf a bit put some glue on it and pin it down and then put the glue on top of it and then um, put the astro turf and put a stone on there for ages and it glued it down and you didn't have that issue anymore So guys, as you can see, the bits that do take a bit longer is the bits where I've had to cut around a drain or cut on the side to make pieces um, fit. But other than that, it was quite easy to do. So to fit around the drains and everything, what I did is I would, um, once I'd run out of little pieces, I would stick the bigger pieces down and any leftovers or the left were then used to fit around those areas that I wanted to do. By the way, the little green bubble in the chair over there that keeps moving is my little baby. She was outside enjoying some sunshine. 
and there you go guys it looks um weird colors but everything does eventually look together as you can see you can do it with your fingers um, it doesn't actually look like an issue once I show you guys later there is no issue with it um, plus I wasn't too bothered about that area because I'm actually going to have a sand pit over there so you wouldn't really you know bother it and I've, I've brushed over it and it looks even but now we've got the section where the swing is so we had to actually lift the swing and move it do the same thing as all the other sections we laid it and we had one more um, roll left as you can see guys I've got that little ditty place where I need to do once again around the drain <laughs> put some pieces down but we got it done guys isn't it amazing look at it wow I actually I know it's my garden I'm allowed to say yes wow it is amazing I think it's amazing for us so this was the di this was like a few weeks after and um, we hadn't actually finished gluing some of the pieces down properly but I'll show you the end result as you guys can see this is the end result of my garden and this is actually recently because as you can see there's a lot more things happening in my garden don't watch the mess um, we were out in the sun and it rained and we basically left things hanging about but guys this is it and yeah there's some sections where you can see the lines but they appear every now and then as soon as you brush over them they don't even exist it's absolutely fine you gotta bear in mind we did this ourselves and so we, it kind of got rushed a little bit in some areas but um, because of how we did it some sections actually looking back we haven't actually good glued down yet because we actually needed to buy one more glue um, glue pot so we need to actually go back and get that and glue down the little sections that are left over and um, also there's a section I know that needs to be glued down again but guys I'm absolutely happy with it it's cushy on my feet it's comfortable and I hoover it every now and again and so it's clean and it's tidy I love it thank you for watching our video like share subscribe hope to see you again for more DIY